Hello friends, this is Kalpesh Satas here. Today we are going to learn about ASP.NET Core SignalR Part 2 video that is one to one chat. We have seen in previous video about SignalR how we can communicate with the all the connected connection. So in this video we are going to check one to one chat. So let's do in check in the example. We have used the previous solutions what we have did in the previous video so in this solutions we have did couple of changes on couple of files so what are the changes let's we can check it these are the three file changes the chathub.cs file chat.js file and index.html file so now let's check it to one by one chathub.cs file previous video we are just sending to the all the connections so that means the client.all.send async method and in this video we have added the two new methods send to user and connect get connection id get connection id is must to have when we have to be one to one connections or one to one chat and that will be get from the context.get connection so here you can see the connection start here you can see the get connection we have called inside the connection start and invoke the get connection id and we get the connection id and we store into span and the second one is the send to user send to user have the three parameters users receiver connection id and messages receiver connection id that means if user x want to chat with the user y then use we need user y connection id so that means user y get the messages here is the clients dot client passing the receiver connection id and send a sync so receiver connection id is most important when we do the one to one chat we store that connection id into the span tag here here we add the one more method send to user and in the send to users we have the three parameters user receiving connection id and message and earlier we have two parameters user and message into send message here we have send to users with the three parameters so the receiver send to users same as in the, the chat hub that will be assigned to user is going to be used and with the three parameters in html side we have added the connection id as we seen in the added in the span tag and the receiver id that we have to be uh, chat with whom we just have to pass the receiver id and then we have added the two buttons one for the send message that will be a one to one chat one and and the second one is the send message to all that means all the connections will get the message when we hit the send to all button so let's see what are the changes we did and from the previous so here you can see we have added the two methods send to user and get connection id in chat.js as we see we get how get connection id invoke methods and store that connection id into the span tag and that will be a send to user event click button event and that will be a three parameter pass and call to send to users methods with the three parameters and let's run this application we're going to be small window so we at least fit into the three window now open in the new windows control line and open into new window and just adjust it so it's set into three windows open new and just set to adjust so now you can see that all windows have on connection id i'm giving the name is user1 copy it and user2 and user 3 so now all user have on id so i'm just try to talking with the user 1 to user 2 so i'm typing yes and just copy the user 2 connection id so you see that user 1 say hi now i'm copying connection 1 id and say hi so that means user 1 get the message user say user 2 say hi now copying one id and three say hello so you get the the user one message from user three so and now i'm making the hello and 
let's try to send to all users so you all user get the message you see the user one get the message user two and user three all three user get the message so now i'm trying to user two uh, connect with the user three so here is hello user three and just sent it so user three get the message from user one, two so that is the way like we have to be chat one to one and uh, all connected device get the messages now if we want to chat one to one from the user one to user two then we have just given to user one to user two id and user two to user one id so now i'm copying user two id into user one as user one and user one id copy to user two and make it the how are you for the user two and just send message so user two get message from user one and user two is giving a reply i am good so get the message is user one so that is the way it's achieve one to one chat so hope you guys you like this video i will be this source code github link in the description and you will find this video one and video two into the single github link so hope you guys you like this video please subscribe my channel and please provide your comments